गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम टू एडवांस एनिमल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी कोर्स सो टुडे इज लेक्चर नंबर फाइव एंड आई कंटिन्यू विथ द टॉपिक केमिकल शिफ्ट now uh, uh, before we discuss magnetic anisotropy so what do you mean by uh, magnetic isotropy so isotropy means let us say you, you have taken a, a nmr molecule which is in a solution and it is oriented in all possible direction with respect to the magnetic field okay if the magnetic field experienced by the molecule from uh, in all possible orientation is same then we call that the that the, the, the magnetic field is isotropic but if the field if the if, if the field depends on how the molecule is oriented uh, in the magnetic field then we call this is an isotropic effect and this happens because you know this chemical bonds Uh, are the regions of high electron density and therefore can create local magnetic fields and these local magnetic fields uh, 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 that then uh, uh, this uh, uh, you'll see the chemical shift will depend on the uh, orientation of the nucleus with respect to the bond which we will be discussing so now consider a, a diatomic molecule ah okay so now the a can represent a another uh, a on atom a, a a bond or even a functional group okay not necessarily it has to be bonded by one or only one bond okay now for this in this particular case we we'll consider that as if a is an atom okay so this when this molecule is placed in uh, the external magnetic field b0 it induces a magnetic moment new a okay and this is proportional to the magnetic susceptibility or we call chi a of a with components now big depending on how the molecule is oriented in uh, three dimension and so automatically there will be if, if the molecule is oriented uh, along the if, if the let us say assume that the x axis is the molecular axis suppose if the molecule is oriented Uh, 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 along the uh, uh, let us say the the, the z axis is parallel to b0 then we call this is a mu a z if the y axis is parallel to uh, uh, applied field we we'll call this is a mu a y and if the x axis is parallel to uh, uh, the applied field we call this is a mu a x which i have shown there you can see in the picture now if you see that when the mu a z that means when the J, the molecule molecular axis is the x axis so it is uh, uh, the 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 z axis is parallel to b0 automatically so the molecule is perpendicular to the field so the therefore the mu a z the induced field which the hydrogen will uh, uh, face is parallel to b0 so automatically you can see from this magnetic lines of pore that it will increase or augment the applied field so you will get a slightly more field than b0 so when for mu a y again that is also perpendicular to the applied field okay there also you will see that the 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 hydrogen the uh, the hydrogen field at hydrogen is parallel to b0 and so automatically there will be a slight increase in the field or it will augment the applied field so the uh, uh, h will uh, feel a slightly more field than b0 but if you see that uh, mu a x when the x axis is parallel to the b0 you will see that the now the it is uh, uh, feeling a, a opposite field Uh, then the b0 so automatically it will be reduced applied field so it tells that the depending on the orientation of the molecule the there is the uh, the the the, uh, uh, the hydrogen or the nuclei which we are observing is seeing a different amount of either the field is augmented or the field is reduced so this is called a magnetic anisotropy it is a general magnetic anisotropy term we have i have explained you using a simple uh, molecule like ah okay so if you see the contribution of this shielding can be expressed by uh, can is given in this equation where delta sigma is the shielding constant due to this anisotropic effect and then this chi chi a 
chi a is the the magnetic susceptibility of the atom a and i stands for the which in uh, along the coordinate i and this theta is the angle between the direction of nu a and the h bond direction that is the a x that is the x axis because that we have considered as the molecular axis and r is the distance between the a and h now we will see that when uh, the the molecule when when it is uh, under in isotropic condition you will see that as i told you uh, earlier that in isotropic uh, magnetically isotropic condition you will see that the, mole, the, the, the 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 magnetic susceptibility does not depend on the how the molecule is oriented in the uh, 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 in the field where the chi a x chi a y and chi a z are equal but in this particular case so uh, when it is an isotropic case you see the chi a x y and z are not same okay so uh, 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 we will represent this susceptibility delta chi so delta chi is nothing but the chi parallel minus chi perpendicular so we have seen the perpendicular in case of in our case we have seen the chi perpendicular is uh, uh, our uh, x and y uh, and the chi a, a z is uh, the parallel one so uh, if you apply those things so automatically if you put all this information to the previous equation so delta sigma the uh, and the, the change in scaling constant is 1 by 3 chi x 1 minus 3 cos square theta by 4 pi r cube i will explain you this thing where this delta chi is actually known for is is calculated uh, uh, for the for a ch bond it is 90 into 10 to the power minus 36 meter cube per molecule. Similarly, this for a carbon-carbon single bond, it is 140. And uh, see, even this chi value can be negative. For chi triple bond, carbon triple bond, C triple bond, C, it is minus 340. Okay? So let us see that uh, we will take an example so that it will be clear to you. Let us say you consider a C single bond C. Okay? Now a C single bond C is shown uh, uh, here. You can see this is your C single bond C, and uh, now we are considering a, a, a distance of 0 0.3 nanometer with a theta angle of zero degree. So this this when you consider this along this, this is theta is zero. So this angle represents the theta. So here the, the along this the bond axis it is theta is 0 and perpendicular to this bond is theta is 90 degree. So now this distance from here to here is 0.3 nanometer and from here to here is also 0.3 nanometer. So now if you put those values, so what you will see that uh, 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 when uh, if, 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 if a proton lies along this axis, at a distance of 0.3 nanometer, you will see there is a desilding. See, delta sigma is equal to minus 0 0.28 ppm, means it desils the proton. proton. So, with, uh, no, you have to add 0 0.28 ppm to the delta value, normal delta value. Now, if it is in this region, around 90 degree, you will see that delta sigma is 0 0.14 ppm. Okay, so that means the proton which is coming in this region, you will see that there is a decrease in chemical shift or you have to subtract minus uh, uh, this 0 0.14 ppm from the uh, uh, normal chemical shift value. Mo most in uh, interesting thing here is that if suppose if the proton lies along at an angle of 54.7 degree, okay, then you will see that there is no uh, 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 shielding, okay, or desilding. The delta sigma is zero, okay. So this angle, this 54.7 degree, is called the magic angle, okay. So that's why I see in case of solution, this is not a problem. But when you go for solid state, you will see that uh, you have to measure the NMR using a magic angle spinning. Okay, so that magic angle spinning actually takes care of this so that this anisotropic effect 
because in solid the molecules are not able to rotate okay so in solid state you will see that there is a huge application of this magic angle okay so you can see in this this is so, so in case of solution as i told you that when the molecule is oriented only in this fashion you see this effect but the molecule can take all possible orientation that is no barrier so you will get this effect only the fraction of molecules which are oriented in this direction and then it gets averaged out from all possible orientation and also all possible conformations as i told you i'll give you one example here if you see in case of uh, this uh, 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 cyclohexane systems you will see the axial protons are shielded by about uh, uh, shielded compared to the equatorial protons and you see the chemical shift difference between the axial and equatorial proton is about point 5 ppm you see this equatorial proton the chemical shift is 5.18 ppm whereas uh, uh, this when this proton is put in the uh, axial position it is 4.69 ppm so in this case it is desilded from the you can see you can consider that so this is your so this is your delta sigma is negative whereas this side is delta sigma is positive so that you see here here the delta sigma is equal to positive here okay so so this is the region this is the desilded region And similarly, you can extend it. So this will be your shielded region. And this is the, and this is where delta sigma is equal to. This is nothing but your magic angle. So this angle, this is this is the magic angle. So at magic angle, this delta sigma is equal to zero. Beyond that, it is shielded, and this side it is desilded. So that's why. But if you take normally a cyclohexane in NMR tube, you get only one signal because the molecule is rapidly flipping between uh, between the two conformers, conformers. Okay, two chairs. So you don't see them and also the molecule can take all possible orientation only when this molecule at a particular orientation you see this that's why these effects are not uh, so it is a uh, average uh, uh, and weighted average value of all possible conformation and all possible orientation. Now you see this anisotropic effect is very strong in uh, uh, compounds containing uh, pi bonds. Now, pi systems are present in alkenes. You can see in carbonyls, carb uh, nitriles, alkyne, and aromatic compounds. Okay. So when you place uh, 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 this pi uh, 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 pi system uh, compounds in a metal uh, magnetic field, this pi electron starts circulation in a way that it opposes the external field and this thing has been already discussed by uh, professor orindam ghosh okay so i have shown here a general thing see this is a pi system of a, 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 a alkene system alkene and carbon carbonyl compound the only difference is that one side instead of this uh, carbon substituent there will be oxygen so it is uh, it's a general i have shown this is for the uh, simple pi system this is for your uh, aromatic system uh, this is your aromatic system and this is your acetylenic uh, system see and when you put them under the uh, uh, magnetic field you can see that uh, this these electrons in the uh, 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 pi system start circulation and they produce a magnetic field which opposes that this is the applied magnetic field in this direction but the magnetic field produced due to the circulation is in opposite direction which is nothing but b uh, e so uh, and but if you see this b e is not uniform across the space it is below and above the molecular 
plane or the above the pi bond you see this 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 actually reduces the field whereas at the uh, uh, molecular plane and outside it increases the uh, uh, field so in some place it is uh, decreasing the uh, uh, the effect of applied field in some place it is increasing that's why it is called the anisotropic uh, effect and uh, so automatically you see, you see this region this where this r are there if the hydrogens are there so you will see they will be desilded like this hydrogen is getting desilded or it is a killing a effective field more than the applied field b0 the same thing is uh, true for uh, a benzene ring also you see the benzene ring but now as the benzene there are six pi electrons and they are rotating and the electron density is high the circulating electrons produce a much stronger effect okay and but again it is the same way like the pi system here you see the 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 uh, the, the, uh, the center of the pi system or the aromatic system and above and below the plane of this pi system you see a reduced uh, effect of applied magnetic field where at the molecular uh, plane and the periphery you see say, the the applied field is uh, augmented or increased okay so what you will see that in the protons in the molecular plane and the outside are therefore desilded okay and protons above and below the plane and also in the plane in case of uh, 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 inside the ring in case of aromatic system are strongly shielded now coming to the acetylene acetylene because of it has got, got a two pi, two pi system it it can have two or two possible orientation one is uh, the the molecular axis is along the applied magnetic field and in that case you will see that it is reducing uh, 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 the the hydrogen which is along the axis of the molecular axis it is actually uh, killing a less lesser magnetic field than the applied magnetic field b0 okay because if you see the uh, the, the the because of the this uh, circulation of electron it is producing a magnetic field which is actually decreasing the uh, uh, or opposing the b0 at molecular axis but it is increasing at the periphery of the acetylene. We will see some example where you can see that really there is a because here you see only the reduction but there will be a molecule where you will see in this region some protons are falling and they are really getting uh, desilded. Okay. So in case of acetylene the protons attach along this molecular axis therefore moves up field or their delta value will be less whereas in case of aromatic and uh, alkene the protons which are periphery or outside the ring will be desilded okay now let us see uh, 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 so the if you therefore you will see the alkene the uh, the alkene proton or the vinylic protons they there, there are two reasons of this thing. One thing is that this desilding, another is they are attached to sp2 carbon. So that also also affect uh, or reduces the electron density around hydrogen. So the combined effect gives a chemical shift of vinylic proton around 5 to 6 ppm. One due to the uh, electron, more electron withdrawing effect of sp2 carbon as well as the uh, this magnetic anisotropic effect. Okay, so you will see that uh, the vinylic protons they appear around 5 to 6 ppm. Okay, here I have shown two examples. If you see this, in this case, this hydrogen is just coming above the, these two double bonds. So that's why it is heavily shielded. The chemical shift is now minus 0 0.42 ppm. Okay, normally it should come around 1.5. But in this, you can see the other one where there is no pi system, it is coming at a resonating at a normal or regular uh, uh, chemical shape at delta is equal to 1.42. Not necessarily the double bond should be made up of only carbon, even the other heteroatoms also have more, more or less very same effect, only that is the extent may be slightly different. You can see this, this hydrogen, actually the chemical shift is 0 0.23, much uh, uh, less than uh, uh, the normal chemical shift, whereas this is now coming more or less uh, 
द एक्सपेक्टेड केमिकल शिफ्ट वैल्यू Now, if you consider the uh, carbonyls, the carbonyls means you have a C double bond O. Specifically, the aldehyde protons they are highly desilted. So the, the reason, reason uh, there are two reasons. One is the the anisotropic uh, uh, magnetic anisotropy due to this pi system, and now another second thing is the the uh, uh, the the. Uh, the the electronic effect of the oxygen which reduces electron density around the proton so it resonate around 9 to 10 ppm so you can see that uh, uh, even if the carbonyl group is little bit away from this in such a system where the hydrogen you see that this proton is again slightly get desilded by this uh, 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 anis anisotropic effect of this carbonyl see whatever chemical shift it is happening due to the aromatic ring and in addition to that you are getting additional downfill due to this anisotropic of the carbonyl in this case now because this proton is much closer okay so that's why the downfill shift is much more it is the downfill shift is around 1.8 ppm whereas in the previous case it was 0 0.7 ppm Now, uh, coming to the carbonyl compounds, there are other uh, carbonyl compounds, you will see that the aldehydes and ketones, na, there could be a conjugated system, okay? So, carbon, and the, the first thing is that there are carbonyl groups also, and then you have the double bonds also, okay? So, let us see how these carbonyl groups affects the chemical shift of the uh, uh, vinylic protons, okay? So, now uh, you can see that this is your uh, alphabet unsaturated carbonyl group which can have a resonance structure like this, okay? Because uh, 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 it can resonate, so put a positive charge on this carbon and negative charge on the oxygen and you can see that due to that, the, the, the chemical shift of these vinylic protons are highly desilted. You can see that uh, normally if they come within five, around five to six, now because of this system, this is beta to this carbonyl and this hydrogen is beta to this carbonyl, so and they are equivalent, so that you are getting a chemical C value of 7.10. You see these two hydrogens are equivalent because of there is a symmetry plane. If you remember, that's why I told that symmetry is very important. Now these two hydrogens are uh, are chemically equivalent because of the uh, the C because of the C two symmetry as well as sigma V, and the chemical shift is lower. The chemical shift value of these hydrogens are desilted due to the because this is beta to the carbonyl. In this case also, you see that it is again desilted compared to uh, the normal vinylic protons. In this case, you can see that this beta proton is more desilded than the alpha proton. Again, this, this case is very similar to the earlier cases and uh, uh, the chemical shift value is 6. Point. So normal value is around 5 ppm. So they are coming uh, at much lower value than the normal chemical shift of vinyl protons. Now, as I discussed uh, 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 earlier that you have the uh, C triple bond, uh, triple bonded thing. So triple bonded system you will see in acetylene, C triple bond C, and also another functional group, very important functional group is the nitrile. Okay, so in case of nitrile also you will see very similar kind of arrangement. And we have seen that the molecule now uh, arranged in uh, uh, the, uh, the molecular axis actually lie along the magnetic field and that reduces uh, uh, the uh, uh, the extent of uh, or the effect of applied magnetic field on the hydrogen uh, acetylic hydrogen and they uh, appear at much high uh, 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 much uh, low or I will say their chemical shifts are uh, uh, uphill shifted and it comes around two to three ppm. See, there could be another uh, arrangement of acetylene, okay? This was the parallel to the applied field. Now, let us see when the molecule uh, 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 lies perpendicular to the applied field. Then also, because it's a, this acetylene system, now the, the electronic circulations are 
are, uh, are hindered due to this orientation, but there is a creation of paramagnetic uh, 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 moment at the center of this triple bond. And this, uh, this paramagnetic moment also again reduces the uh, effect of applied uh, field on this hydrogen. So in both orientation of acetylene, both in the parallel and perpendicular to the uh, field, uh, uh, the, 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 the effective field uh, 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 felt by the hydrogens, acetylenic hydrogens, are less compared to the applied field B0, and uh, so these protons are uh, highly shielded. Okay, so in these zones, automatically, uh, only thing is that you will see in case of acetylene, this zone is desilded, and the, uh, uh, the zone the, where the hydrogens are there, they are shielded. Okay, so one example, if you see clearly, this hydrogen, if you see, so this is the acetylenic proton, but when this a proton now is falling in the desilding zone, so this, this zone is shielded, this zone is shielded, whereas this zone, if you consider this way, this is your shielding zone, shielded, this is desilded. You can see this hydrogen is now the, the, the delta sigma is minus 1.71 ppm. That means whatever chemical shift was there without this group, you have to add that much of ppm. Let us say it was coming around uh, 7.2. So now it will be, uh, 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 so it, it will come around uh, uh, 8.9. So, so much of desilding is happening due to this acetylenic bond. The most important anisotropic effect see is uh, effect, effects uh, are seen in aromatic compounds. Okay, so I have shown here. If you see the benzene in case of aromatic system, you will see the 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 the, uh, the inside of the aromatic system above the plane of the aromatic system and below the plane of the aromatic system, the systems are shielded. So these are the shielding zone. Whereas this side, this desilded. So now you see that 18 anulene, because benzene you don't have proton inside, but in case of anulenes, you can see there are uh, 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 six hydrogen inside varying, and you can see their chemical shift minus 2.9 ppm, highly shielded. Whereas outside are highly desilded, 9.28. PM. You see this molecule, uh, 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 these two protons are now falling above the ring, okay, and they are uh, uh, highly shielded, they are coming at minus 0 0.6 ppm, whereas these two hydrogens, they are coming in the desilding zone, coming resulting at 2.84, whereas these uh, C2 and C3, the hydrogens attached to C2 and C3 has a very little effect of this uh, anisotropy. You see this agilines also. You can see the ring protons are coming around 7.27 to 6.95, where the, these CH2s are highly shielded. In case of pyrene derivative, you see these methyls, they are coming at uh, minus 4.25 ppm, whereas the ring protons are coming around 8.1 to 8.6 ppm. So here also you can see the same thing when you see the planar annuline, uh, where planar and aromatic annulene, but when the annulene systems are made in such a way that they, they lose the planarity. So you know that if the arom uh, aromaticity depends on the planarity also. So these rings are, although it is fulfilling the aromatic conditions, but they are not perfectly planar. So they are less plan planar, means less aromatic. You can, that can be seen from the chemical shift position of the aromatic protons and similarly the CH2 protons. They behave more like polyalkenes rather than aromatic. Now in uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, the, 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 the chemical sheet of hydrogen depends on where they are located. So in case of this H gamma, it, it, has, it is getting the desilding effect of this aromatic ring, this aromatic ring, and the, all three aromatic rings are uh, uh, desilding it. Whereas H alpha is desilded by only two, which beta is only by one. So that is reflected in their chemical sheet. So uh, uh, delta uh, gamma actually the chemical shift is more uh, is down more downfield than alpha than beta. Same thing when in this case also. 
Now let us see when you have an anti-aromatic compound. Okay, so in that case, what happens? So you will see instead of in case of benzene, we saw a diamagnetic moment. Means inside the ring, above the ring, and below the ring, we saw a di diamagnetic. Uh, 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 moments. Uh, uh, in the periphery we saw the paramagnetic moments. But in case of anti-aromatic compound, it happens other way around. The inside and below and above is pa uh, paramagnetic and outside it is diam uh, diamagnetic. And you can see that uh, the, the molecule is pyrene. I told you previously, the pyrene, the CH3 normally comes at minus 4.2 due to the uh, uh, sealing. Uh, uh, anisotropic shielding and these are the aromatic protons are coming around 7.5 to 8.5. Now if you reduce this uh, pyrene with potassium metal, so you are making a aromatic compound to anti-aromatic compound. You see now this is 16 electron and see now the, the inside is now becoming paramagnetic and the outside is becoming diamagnetic and you see the methyl chemical shift has moved from minus 4.2 to 21.0. Okay, so heavy desilding and the aromatic protons move from 7.5 uh, uh, around uh, 8 to around 4 ppm. So there is a from a highly desilding to a uh, sealing condition. Cyclopropyl ring is another a typical, uh, although it is a uh, 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 it is a made up of sp3 carbon but it is a very special bonding okay those are called the banana bonds the carbon carbon bonds are of more p character uh, and the carbon hydrogen bonds are of s character okay so these here also you see a magnetic anisotropy like benzene ring okay you can see the things uh, which are the, the protons which are above and below this ring are get shielded and which are away from or, or in the molecular plane or away from it are got desilded. Okay. Now, uh, in case of benzene, all these hydrogens are in the same molecular plane and uh, plane. But here, if you see the hydrogens are not in the plane, they are actually towards the bond angle is 115 degree. So, all these hydrogens are falling in the shielding zone that's the other chemical shift you can see it is uh, 0 0.2 ppm highly shielded okay and you can see in this compound where if you see the compare so this is uh, uh, there are two methyl groups the chemical when there are two methyl groups the chemical shift is 7.42 but when you are putting a cyclopropyl we are tying up this uh, to here you can see now this has uh, shielded here because of this is now falling on the uh, 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 above the ring and they are got highly shielded this one as well as this proton now beside this there are also uh, we have discussed only your this uh, 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 inductive and magnetic effects, but there are also electric field effects. For example, in case of nitrobenzene, if you see the nitrobenzene, this is a highly polarized bond. Okay, so this dipole, the, uh, the negative charge lies on nitrogen and the positive on the uh, carbon, and you see a electrostatic effect of this group, and that deceives the ortho proton. The ortho proton is highly desilded compared to the meta and para. You may argue that this is due to uh, 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 the resonance effect. Yes, the resonance effect is there, but that is a different. In addition to that, you have the electrostatic uh, uh, forces that is solely generated due to the dipole moment of this bond. And you can see these are the calculated values whereas the observed values are much. So these are all highly desilded because of this. Now, uh, uh, there are also called Van der Waals effects. So when two, let us say, two nuclei come very close to each other, their electron cloud or two protons get closer, their electron clouds uh, gets distorted. Okay, it may be two protons coming closer, closer or a proton and another atom which are coming closer. Then the uh, uh, electron cloud of the proton get distorted and that creates a paramagnetic uh, moment on, uh, 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 on the proton, paramagnetic moment on the proton and that actually uh, 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 reduces the shielding or the chemical shift of the proton 
gets uh, 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 or the the, the proton uh, uh, gets desilded, and you can see from in this if you see that uh, now this is a system where where the hydrogens are falling on the double bond. So these hydrogen is as usual because it is coming due to the anisotropic effect as minus 1.40. Whereas this hydrogen, because it is it was also supposed to be uh, negative, but because the oxygen is now very close to this, okay, because of this, there is a the, the electro electron cloud of hydrogen gets deformed and that actually uh, 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 deceives the hydrogen and uh, increasing the chemical value. In this case also you can see that these two hydrogens are coming very close, okay, and you can see there is a uh, uh, desilding by 0.9 ppm. Or normally if there could have been not such situation, whatever chemical shift you are getting, you have to add the, uh, 0.9 ppm to that chemical shift to give the chemical shift value of this proton. So this is called the Van der Waals effect. Okay. Now you see that there are also you see hydrogen bonding also leads to a significant shift of the chem uh, chemical shift position of protons. Okay. Normally see this hydrogen bonding. Na? This is a hydrogen bonding. So uh, uh, in fact, normally if you see the hydrogen bonding should not actually decrease the chemical shift. Okay, because it is getting now a additional electron pair from a electronegative element. But it has been observed that uh, that uh, uh, the when the hydrogen is had uh, any proton is hydrogen bonded, the chemical shift uh, uh, become uh, more or delta value becomes more. So you can see that when there is no hydrogen bonding, the delta value is two to three ppm. When uh, there is uh, intermolecular hydrogen bonding, you can see the value is five to six. So when it is intermolecular, you will see that. That hydrogen bonding is very strong, and the, the, always the delta value is greater than 10 ppm. I have shown two examples. This is a intra, intramolecular case. This is a intramolecular case. This is a intermolecular case, but it is a kind of uh, it, it is a dimer. Okay, you know these carboxylic acids. They prefer to form a dimer like acetic acid. Na? So they come uh, uh, in variable uh, 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 chemical shifts from 9 to 15 ppm. Okay. Now, chemical shifts in organometallic compounds, if you see many times you get the uh, organometallic compounds, the olefin or the aromatic compounds are coupled to a organometallic uh, 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 species like in this case here the iron carbonates uh, bonded to butadiene. You can see that uh, the terminal carbon, the carbon where the metal is bonded, those uh, 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 protons are uh, uh, highly uh, sealed it. You can see the from the chemical shift value has moved from uh, delta four around five to now uh, around uh, uh, this proton is uh, at one point four six, whereas this is uh, even higher value, uh, higher uh, uh, sealing, and the delta value is minus zero point zero three. In this case also, if you see the metal is mostly bonded at these two carbons, and you can see the chemical shift. Uh, this proton is now uh, up shifted compared to the internal uh, proton. So this is the most shielded proton, then the next is this, and this is least affected proton. So, uh, so what happens that when you put a organometallic uh, compound in the magnetic field, you will see that it orients in this way. So the, the in the metal, it feels a paramagnetic moment. Okay. But at the hydrogen, a diamagnetic effect. Okay, so that's why it seals the proton, but deseals the metal. Okay, and you can see the chemical shift of iron carbonyl hydride. The delta value is minus 10.5. Highly sealed. If you see, this is a it's a cationic complex. Okay, still the chemical shift of hydrogen is minus 28.1 in a cationic complex. So that that is because of the very strong diamagnetic shielding by the uh, uh, transition metal. Now solvent effects are very similar to, uh, 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 so solvent effects are, it's a kind of intermolecular interaction. If the solvent interacts your, uh, uh, with your uh, substrate, so whatever interaction so far we have discussed can be seen. 
because when they are closely interacting, let us say they are closely interacting is they are associated. Now, associated means uh, uh, whatever interactions we have seen earlier can be seen here also, okay? Specifically, if you see, if you record a spectra, I mean chloroform, and if you go to benzene D6, you will see there is, it will be always an uphill shift of the proton, because now we have seen the anisotropic effect of benzene, okay? So that sometime, uh, but all the protons will not feel the same effect, okay? Some proton will be more shielded compared to other protons, and that actually makes sometime the, uh, uh, the spectral simplification. Okay, for example, I have shown here this cyclopropane derivative where all these methyls, this methyl, this hydrogen, this hydrogen, you get is only one peak at delta is equal to 1.45 ppm if you record the spectrum in 60 megahertz. Okay, but if you record the same spectrum in a, uh, 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 using a, uh, a benzene as a solvent benzene D6, you will see that now these two hydrogens are coming at uh, uh, delta is equal to 1.11 ppm. So they are, uh, and these methyls are at uh, 1.17 ppm. Okay, so they are now distinguished. Because of the association with the solvent, make them, uh, all the protons do not feel the same chemical shape. And you can see the protons are now comparatively uphill shield uh, shifted because of association with benzene. Okay. This is not that if you sometimes, this is using the anisotropic effect. Sometimes if you use pyridine as a solvent, then you will see this, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the electronic field effect. Okay. Pyridine, sometimes you will see many uh, uh, NMRs are recorded as in pyridine as a solvent. Okay, so there you will get both the, this anisotropic effect as well as electric field effect, I will tell you later on, okay. Okay, these things I have already told this now. So now if you see the proton screening, it consists of several things. It is not only the local diamagnetic that I have told you, the which changes the electron density around the proton, and then we have seen the magnetic effect. The magnetic effect is nothing but the, the, the magnetic anisotropic effect. We have seen the electric field effect, then we have seen the Van der Waals effect, and then we have solved the uh, media mean solvent effect. Okay, now we'll see that how this effect, uh, how they are affecting chemical shifts and which helps to find out the structural information. Okay, so we'll now uh, uh, go through a various classes of molecules. Okay, so first class of molecule we will consider the tetrahydrocarbon. Okay, so tetrahydrocarbon simple molecule is nothing but methane. So you can consider the methane as the parent compound and all other substituted are derivative of it, okay? And then this methane chemical chem uh, appears, the chemical shift of methane is delta is equal to 0 0.23 ppm. That means it is 0 0.23 ppm downpill to TMS, okay? So any other compound is treated as derivative of CH4, that is CH3AX. So so we can define a substituent parameter because we are now putting this x. So we can put a del, del delta x. So we'll put a del delta x, which is equal to nothing but the chemical shift of the CH3 when this x is attached minus the chemical shift of methane. So, but chemical shift of methane already we know. So this is del, delta CH3x minus delta G minus 0 0.23. Now, if this, this delta x is positive, that means the signal will be shifted more downfield compared to the methane. If it is negative, it will be shifted upfield okay, with respect to the hydrogen is nothing but your uh, 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 methane. So, based on that, this is called the Sulari rule. Okay, so Sulari is a scientist. What he did actually in the earlier days in 1960s, 70s, he studied thousands of compounds. He uh, uh, analyzed thousands of proton carbon 13 NMR. Okay, and then he, he came out with an empirical relation. Okay, so it is a just simply empirical relation. Okay, based on the observations he found from uh, uh, studying the various NMR. That's why this chemical, the, if you see these constant values have been uh, keep on changing uh, because every year more spectres are added. So these values also modified little bit every year. Okay. 
So you may see these values are slightly different in some other book, but don't get uh, uh, annoyed with that because uh, uh, you see the uh, the variation will be very little, not much. You see, instead of 0.62, it may be 0.64 or 0.6 or 0.59 like that. Okay, so don't worry for that. Okay. So what he has done that if you can you can calculate a, a, the delta value of a particular. Uh, 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 um, let us say um, CH3 group. Okay, so what you have to take? You have to take the base value plus the substituent, uh, the, uh, the the del delta x or the the substituent parameter. So we will take that delta. We will take the base value of delta CH4, which is nothing but 0 0.23, and this delta sigma is let us say uh, i will take simple uh, 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 let us say uh, ch3 ch3 okay so what is that what will be the delta value of this ch3 now so delta ch3 will be 0 0.23 plus cf3 value is given 1.2 so you will get a value of uh, uh, one point Okay, now let us consider uh, uh, CH3i. So CH3i means you have to take this. So CH3 is, is equal to 0 0.23 plus 1.94. Okay, so is equal to 0. Point, sorry. So it will be 2. Point, 2.27 or 2.17 it is 2.17 okay you can also find out not necessarily if, if suppose you have a ch3 ch2 hydro now in this case if you want to find out the chemical set of ch3 so what you have to do is equal to 0 0.23 but now you see there is a CH2. So you have to add a 0 0.62, the distilling by the CH2, okay? Plus, you see the value of iodo is 0 0.90. So if you add all three, you will get the, what will be the chemical shift of CH2, CH3. So this will be your delta CH3. Now you see if you want to find out the delta CH2. So what you will see, the delta CH2 means you have a CH2, so which is attached to a alkyl group. So you will you you have a 0 0.23 plus a alkyl group plus is 0 0.62, and then you have the iodo is 1.94. So if you add three, whatever you are getting is the chemical shift value of delta CH2. Okay. So these values you cannot you need not to remember, these values will be provided, or you can find out uh, uh, in internet or any standard book, you will uh, get these values. Okay, so there are many uh, uh, such substituents, not all substituents are not covered here, but it has been given that. Uh, 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 so, so if del delta alpha x is to be used when x is directly attached to methyl group, okay? Del delta beta x to be used when x is attached to the CH2 group away from the methyl group, okay? Then you have to add this value as I told you 0 0.62 to the value due to the desilding by the spaced CH2, okay? And you will see that this, this if you do this, uh, you will see these calculated values are very close to the experimental values, okay, within plus minus 0 0.2 ppa. Okay, now if you have a, let us say, a, a, the way I told you, you have a, a, a CH2, you want to find out the chemical shift of a CH2 group. Okay, so what you have to take, you have a X group this side, a Y group this side. So you take the chemical shift value of uh, uh, methane, and then uh, both there will be both alpha X and alpha Y. Okay, and that will give you uh, 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 the chemical shift value of this CH2. Okay, like let us say if you consider the value of uh, CH2I, 
and CH2I. Let us see. So this will be 0 0.23. This I is 1.94 and this side is also 1.94. So delta CH2 will be the sum of all these three. But you will not get the correct value for this because when this sum is when this delta x and delta y are alkyl groups then it gives more or less correct value but when you have any other group or in this case it will be the into 0 0.9 about 10 percent error is there so that's why you have to uh, multiply whatever you are getting into 0.9 and then you will see that you are getting very close to that value okay See CH, uh, the chemical shift of CH proton can be found out, but you will see, but there will be, it will not be that close the way CH2 and CH3 are found out. You can get a very reasonable value, but uh, 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 the uh, estimation will be more, there will be more error because there will be a lot of mutual interference of three substituent. Like in this case, see you have the, let us say in case of CH2, Cl2, you cannot just, uh, 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 do, you have to, Whatever values you are getting, you have to multiply to 0 0.9. Okay. But if you consider this R, CH2, let us say the both are C, CH3. How you can find out what should be the value? You take this value, this value, and you can find out. Okay. For that, you need not you, you don't have to multiply with 0 0.9. Okay. But any other substitution, you have to multiply with 0 0.9. Now let us see cyclic CH2 and CH protons, okay. So in case of uh, uh, cycloalkanes, we will take the base value of the proton chemical shifts of the unsubstituted cycloalkanes and uh, the values are shown here, cyclopropen is uh, uh, 0.22, that I have already explained you why it is, because of anisotropic, magnetic anisotropic shielding. Okay, and then see the others are very around 1.5 ppm. So in let us say example this in case of uh, uh, this uh, uh, cyclopentyl uh, uh, chlorocyclopentane, you can see that HA, HA is directly, so you take the one point cyclopentane is 1.5, so I have taken 1.5 and then chlorine, if you see the previous table, the value is 2.8, this is the del, del delta X. Okay, so you add that, you get uh, 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 around 4.31 ppm and the experimental, if you see it is 4. Point, uh, if you measure by NMR, it is 4.37. So it is very close to that. But HB will be now, this is 1.51, same value. But this is not from the alpha. So you have to take the beta value. If you see the halogen, chlorine, uh, chlorine is 0 0.7. Chlorine, when it is attached to the same carbon, it is 2.8. When it is beta, it is 0 0.7. And same thing I have done here. Okay. So it is, I am adding 0 0.7 and it is becoming 2.21 ppm. Now, uh, I will uh, go to a, another, before we go to uh, 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 the uh, unsaturated system. So you should know that from the molecular formula, suppose many times in the question you have been given a molecular formula. So from molecular formula, you should be able to find out what is the index of unsaturation. So index and unsaturation, nothing it tells about the uh, 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 how many unsaturated functional groups are there. Like uh, in uh, double bond is unsaturation index is one, okay? So if the molecular formula is C, C, H, H, N, N, O, O and X is, where X is X, uh, halogen like chlorine, bromine, iodine, and chlorine, the index of unsaturation. It can be derived. You can uh, try yourself. You will see the index of unsaturation is two times of number of carbons plus two plus uh, uh, in uh, plus uh, number of uh, nitrogen atoms minus the sum of number of hydrogen atoms and uh, 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 halogen atoms and total sum is divided by now, uh, 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 this carbon, uh, see, even your molecule can have other elements like silicon, okay? So, silicon is equivalent to carbon, they are also tetravalent. So, uh, you can, uh, while considering this index of unsaturation, you silicon also you can put in the, uh, uh, into the place of carbon. Similarly, for nitrogen, see, there is trivalent phosphorus also. That also will 
come uh, at the place of nitrogen. Similarly, divalent uh, sulfur also will come. That anyway, sulfur is not, oxygen is not uh, uh, considered here, okay? Because it, 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 it does not matter how many oxygens are there in the molecule while calculation of index of unsaturations. And the balance, you see, the, there could be a different balance of the halogen. Specifically, if you see, halogens can have different balances, like uh, uh, iodine and bromine, they can have different balances. So, while considering this formula, uh, these are the balances have been considered, carbon-4, uh, hydrogen O1, nitrogen 3, oxygen 2, and halogens O1. Okay, so if you consider the degree of unsaturation for cyclic system will be 1, double bond will be 1. Okay, cyclic system means you can see the cyclohexane, the uh, index of unsaturation is 1. Okay, double bond is 1. Okay, so but benzene then it will be, it will be 4. Okay, it is 1. Okay, cyclohexene will be two. Sorry, this will be uh, three cyclohexadiene. Cyclohexene will be two. Okay, for ring one and the double bond one. Double bond one, cyclic system one, triple bond will be two. Okay, very clear how many pi systems are there. And then the endocyclic double bond. This is called endocyclic double bond. Okay, cyclohexene, it is two, okay. Now you can uh, see from that if you, if you have given a, a C2H3N, the index of unsaturation will be 2. And with 2 carbon, the only structure possible is the astronitrile, CH3CN. Okay? Now there are two more rules. One is called the nitrogen rule, when the number of nitrogen in the molecular formula is even. Okay? The molar mass will be even. And the sum of number of hydrogens and halogens, the total sum will all will be even. Okay, now uh, when the number of nitrogens, when the sum of number of nitrogen in the molecular formula is odd, okay, then the molar mass will be odd, and the sum of the number of hydrogens and halogens will also be odd. So these are these are these two are all the nitrogen group. Okay, okay. Suppose if you have given a molecular uh, weight, okay. Okay, so uh, how many nitrogen is po are possible depends on if it is even, it will be at least either. See, even means there could be zero nitrogen also. Okay, or an even number of nitrogen. Okay, so this is a very important for solving problems because sometimes uh, the molecular formula will be given. From that, you have to ascertain how many double bonds are there, how many, uh, uh, whether there is a cyclic system, whether there is any triple bond, and then you have to correlate this with the NMR spectra or the chemical acid values. Quickly, uh, 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 there are only two uh, slides, okay? So now we'll see the proton attached to a vinylic system, okay? So when I, as I told you, the vinylic system, there are two things, the carbon is, sp2 hybridized and we have already seen that this uh, 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 there is magnetic anisotropic effect okay so uh, the protons because the protons will be uh, highly desilded so you see this is uh, uh, these hydrogens these hydrogens they fall in the desilding zone okay and whether this is the sealing zone so you have this is the your this is the uh, 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 desilding, and this is sealing. Okay, so whatever is falling here, the delta will be the delta value will be less, and here the delta value will be more. Okay, so normally this this binary protons come around four point five to seven. Uh, ppm region okay and of course normally it is it is uh, uh, for ethylene it is 5.28 so we consider the base value like in case of uh, 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 tetrahedral uh, uh, system we consider the uh, methane as the base uh, uh, consider the base value with methane here we will consider the base value with ethylene whose chemical shift is 5.28 PPM. And now I'll show you the various substituent parameters 
the values of the different substituent uh, like for example let us say so the, this this is a substituent x with respect to this hydrogen this is called the gem they have a geminal relationship geminal means those two uh, groups are attached to the same carbon so that's why this is called a geminal hydrogen whereas hydrogen this x and this hydrogen are on the same side we call them cis when x and this hydrogen in the opposite side we call them trans so depending on this now what will be the let us say uh, uh, we want to find out uh, uh, Okay, now let us see cis, this hydrogen. This hydrogen will be, uh, 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 delta will be 5.28 plus uh, cis. So you have to see the chlorine. Chlorine and cis value is 0 0.19, 0 0.19. Okay, and if you see the trans, trans is 0 0.03 so this will be uh, 5.28 plus 0 point, 0 0.03 okay so you can find out what we calculate what will be the chemical cell of this hydrogen this hydrogen this hydrogen with a base value of this and the substituent uh, 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 effect on this uh, uh, of various substituents. So you can, and uh, that depends on the position of the uh, substituent with respect to the hydrogens. Okay, so uh, it is the uh, carbonyls, these aldehydes, and the uh, formyl groups, we will rather call a formyl groups. And we have seen that because of this, the desilding, uh, it is the anisotropic effect as well as desilding by the uh, 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 oxygen, so the chemical shift comes slightly much lower than the normal binary protons. Uh, but when you have this uh, uh, formate formic acid or esters or amide, you see it is slightly less because the lone pair on this functional group actually reduces the electron uh, withdrawing effect of the uh, 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 that oxygen, or it is get uh, diluted. Uh, Okay, so that's why it is, the effect is comparatively less than the normal, a simple formal uh, group. Okay, uh, here the example is shown for acetylene. You see that these protons are falling in the desilding zone. Okay, so you, see, you will see this acetylene, acetylene, like that. So this area is sealed and this is desilded. If you remember, so the this so there will be a slightly uh, the delta values will be higher in this case, whereas this will be uh, uh, the uh, slightly shielded or the delta value will be lower. And this is for the uh, uh, aromatic uh, protons. You can find out same as we have already told you the base value has to be taken as the benzene, and then you can find out this ortho hydrogen, meta hydrogen, and the uh, uh, para hydrogen. So you take any substituent, let us say x is equal to CH3. Okay, so uh, x is equal to CH3. So the uh, delta HO will be 7.27 minus 0 0.17. Okay, delta uh, HM will be 7.27 minus 0, 0 0.09. Okay, similarly para. So you can, in this way, you can also calculate the, the chemical sheet uh, values of various aromatic uh, uh, protons. Okay, so uh, this is the last uh, slide, I think. Yeah, some aromatic compounds, okay, uh, the contents like nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. And because now you see in these cases, these are aromatic, but 
if you see they are electron rich aromatics okay so there are two parameters one thing is they are the electron there are six pi electrons okay six pi pi atoms okay and as a heteroatom heteroatom okay so there are two effects one because the electron density is more so the uh, 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 the so automatically the chemical shift will be lower okay the these protons will be now shielded compared to benzene they will be shielded and now because you will see the always the at, uh, hydrogen very closer to the heteroatom the chemical shift will be lower that you can see it is lower compared to this okay so and uh, here, so the, the, this is because of the electronegativity effect, and this is due to the normal because it is a six electron five atom system. So the electron density, the pi electron density is more, so that enhances increases the electron density around the hydrogen. If you remember, I showed that with uh, uh, cyclopentad ionyl anion, and this is a classic example. You see electric dipolar effect case of uh, pyridine. I showed you for nitrobenzene. You see that the, 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 the nitrogen lone pair is not involved in the aromatic system. So this forms a dipole and this dipole is creating an electrical field effect that actually deceives the orthoprotons. If you remember in case of nitrobenzene that deceives so this value that's why the orthoproton values are around 8.5 ppm compared to C compared to para and meta is uh, uh, downfield shifted. Okay, so I'll continue this with. Uh, uh, okay, I con I'll continue with this chemical shift in the next class. Okay, so if you have any doubt, you can uh, post your questions or you can ask me now also. Unmute any. Unmute Karan. Right, you are unmuted, so you can talk. You can talk. Someone asked something, looks like, no? Can it out? This UQ participation is more, no? This what? Participant, no? No, we are only two. Hmm? Then uh, we will we'll again uh, meet tomorrow at 4 p.m. same time. Okay, thank you.